Hello, today I've got another little unboxing video. I say little. Now this one is nowhere near as exciting as the last one. It's so unexciting that I haven't even bought a knife to do it with. Let's see if I've got something to do it with. Wallet Ninja. Always keep it handy. So, as I said previously, I've been upgrading my studio equipment. And this is not to the same extent as the last one. But because I've got more channels now, I can afford to get some more microphones. Now these, I know what you're thinking, it's a big old box for a couple of microphones, and you would be correct, it is a big old box for a couple of microphones, but I've also got stands to put the microphones on, that's why the box is so big. So I ordered this, uh, this equipment from studiospares.com. I've used them a couple of times now and the quality of the stuff's really good. And these are just their basic well, basic studio spares. Can you see that? Basic studio spares boom symbol stand. But that is proper quality. I wasn't expecting it to be that good. I think these were like 13 pounds each or maybe 14 dirt cheap but that is real quality that's better than the stands I've got that's much better than the stands I've got so I've got two of those I may as well get the other one out now as well just because I'm in a bit of a rush I've got students coming today in person, which is extra exciting. And there's the second one. Again, Studio Spare's own brand. They are wicked. I'm really happy with those. I, w I was really, judging by the pictures, I was expecting like the most basic, flimsy, rubbish mic stand you could get. And these are amazing. Whoa. I'll show you how good these are, look. Move that box for a second. Metal there. With a nice adjustable lever. It's got everything you would need. Just the boom, and it's got the other little booms like a standard boom stand. But look at them, the little dials. Put that in so you can see it. Wait for that to focus. Really cool. Okay, so that's the two microphone stands. That's the first part of this, a bit more packing. And then these are the things that I'm really excited about. The SE X1S Studio Condenser Microphone. And I'm going to use these as room mics. I've got two. <laughs> I'm too short to fit in the box. I can't grab down long enough. I can't grab down far enough. Uh, 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 got it. so yeah I've got two of these and I'm really excited about these now I'm gonna be completely honest with you I was really thinking about getting some super expensive uh, stereo pad AKG set Now that would have been good. That would have been really, really, really expensive. Uh, these ones are just over a hundred pounds each, I believe. I can't remember how much they are. I'll put a, uh, 
put a little note on the screen to say how much all the equipment is. So yeah, I nearly bought a really expensive set of AKG ones that I was going to use as proper overheads and then use the overheads that I use now as room mics, which I may switch these around. But I asked a couple of my friends and said, listen, I'm at the start of my recording journey. I just need something that I can practice with um, that's still going to sound really good, but isn't going to cost an absolute fortune. And uh, a couple of my friends recommended these SE microphones. So it comes really well packaged. A nice interior foam there inside a packet. Right, we're ready to roll. And there you have it. Beautiful. Also comes with the mic clip, standard microphone attachment, and then what else does it come with? Little booklet, manual with a warranty, and a little SE sticker, which is nice. Is there anything else now? What's that? Oh, another SE sticker. do with them as a 35 year old just uh, put some stickers everywhere so yeah really happy with that I don't need to unbox the other one because it's exactly the same as this one but I'm really excited to try them out get them on the stands move them around the room and just start practicing we're getting some different sounds out of microphone set up like I say I've got more inputs now so I can afford to have more inputs have more microphones and uh, yeah, try and get a nicer sound out of this little room. It's going to be wicked. Really cool. Happy with that. Investing in myself. Like I said, I'm not very good at this. Trying to get better. And it, as I said in previous videos, it's started to become a, a nice income stream for me now. Extra on top of everything else. I can play really well. And once I get this, the skills up to record better, once I start practicing a lot more, start investing a little bit more money in myself, and a little bit more time it's only going to get better and better like right now is the worst it's ever going to be and that's an amazing thing to think about i can't wait to hear what i sound like in a year or two after i've been practicing a while cool catch you later